This originally was gonna be how to make a cool sounding voice and I wound up sounding an awful lot like Kylo Ren. So this is our starting point. Rock solid. This is our ending point. Rock solid. Rock so it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> definitely didn't expect to get this close. So let's go ahead and go through the process. So this is what I started with. Rock solid. You just need a recording. There's not very much noise in my recording. And that that is just what we're starting with, okay? So I took this and the first order of business is I need to pitch it down some. So I went ahead and brought it into new tone and it sounds like this in new tone. Rock solid. So all I did was take it down an octave and you can use any pitch editing program to do. I just use new tone since I'm an FL user. And what I did was, okay, so I came in here, I selected them all and they were up here and I just, you know, brought them down. And then what I did was I double clicked on one Control A to select all of them, and then you can move the formants around. So I settled on around 4.8, 4.6, somewhere around there, and I uh, brought the formants down. If you bring it up, it'll sound very like chipmunky, even when you have it low. Rock solid. Yeah, kind of like that, like some evil gremlin. So I brought down the formants to around 4.7. Rock solid. And you get a more sort of smoothed out texture. So after that, I went ahead and you just click and drag and you can bring that audio in as a new thing. I normalized it and now we're at this point. From here, let me turn off all the effects. So this is what it sounds like after that. Rock solid. So there's another step I did. So the new tone bringing down the pitch was so that I could also touch the formants independently of the pitch shift and sort of move them around as separate variables. After I had that, I wanted to pitch it down further. And so this is gonna depend on material. So that sometimes this can work really differently with different voices, but I wound up going down an additional, what is this, 500 cents. And I chose E3 mono. If you choose, for example, like generic, you get more of like that rocky golem kind of a sound where I wanted it a little more clear on what I was saying. Rock solid. So I went with mono. It keeps a little bit more of the integrity. So you can be a little more aggressive with the pitch shifting. Rock solid. So next thing I did was, even though there's not a lot of noise, I still added a de -esser. So this is Era D. It's a fantastic de -esser. There's other ways you could use Edison to do this. There's a lot of options. I basically just maxed out denoising all the way. I don't care about any additional artifacts that sort of come in as a result of being so aggressive. I just wanted it 100% pushed. And so I settled on Air D. Rock solid. So this was before. Rock solid. After. Rock solid. So there's literally no noise now. Like it's just gonzo. Like, okay, there's some, but it's really, really soft. From there, it's EQ time. So EQ time is a bit complicated because this curve is going to depend on your distortion. So originally, my curve was a lot more, less low end. The mid-range wasn't brought up, mostly just high end. That was the original curve I had. So that, I set that up. We're gonna come back to the EQ because I didn't necessarily do this in order. So after that, I added an OTT. So I know there's a destructor and a verb, but the OTT was the next step. This is a pretty important step. So I added the OTT and essentially just messed with the bands. I didn't touch any of the other controls. Rock solid. And that already gets you most of the way there. So OTT is just a magical thing. Brought the high and the mids up and moved the um, the low end around. Rock solid. Now that's my EQ curve. So if we change the curve. Rock solid. That's what it was like before. Rock solid. So you see, it just it's not quite as smooth as it could be. And the EQ before really has an impact on this. So... Uh, with the low end, I mean, I, I actually took quite a while setting this up. You're going to fiddle a lot with the EQ. Rock solid. Uh, and you notice that I have some really strong resonance right there. If I actually remove this. Rock solid. You get sort of that scooped sound and uh, just sort of a, a neat thing. And also, if I take away the low end. Rock solid. Like, this is a pretty important low boost. Rock solid. Rock solid. Somewhere Rock. around there. So after you have your EQ and your OTT dialed in, up next is distortion. So there's a lot of options when it comes to distortion. I settled on destructor, mostly because it's got the Harmer flathead distortion and this is a, it ended up sounding really cool uh, with what I was doing here. It was like just the right amount of drive. And they've also got a speaker emulation 
um, that allows you to choose all these different models of cabinets and whatnot. And you can get a whole bunch of just really interesting sounds. So the, I added this on. So we'll go ahead and activate this. Rock solid. So first up, we've got distortion. Let's take this away. So this is what the speaker is adding to it. I simply selected model E and left it at that. I highly recommend just going through and checking out all the different options. Rock solid. This was before. Rock solid. This was after. Rock solid. You need a lot more of that sort of mask feel too now that I think about it. That's uh, sort of a result of this. And then we're going to add in the distortion. Rock solid. And it just adds that resonance now. Rock solid. Brings, that's specifically what's bringing that distortion up. If we actually take this away. Rock solid. See how much more of like muffled, kind of like a guy that's like popcorn with his like, lips over his teeth or something. This resonance is what gives the distortion its edge. Rock solid. And this order is important. I actually messed around with the order quite a bit. Uh, denoising first, EQ next, because this gives you a lot of control for these two things that are coming up. Uh, distortion before the OTT. If we do the distortion after, Rock solid. it just sounds like a gross mess. Rock solid. And we've just moved it back. Rock solid. Suddenly it's super clear. So you don't you want the OTT after the distortion. And then finally to wrap it up and make it sound beautiful, we have a Pro R. And let me move this out of the way a little bit more. So the Pro R, just basically a high boost, and the verb's been mixed down quite a bit, only about 13%, and we've got a pretty short decay time. You see, I brought the decay rate down pretty far. We're at 0.78 seconds. Rock solid. But it adds a space. Rock solid. So this is a very optional step, right? You're going to make it match whatever space they're in or whatever they're doing. Uh, I was looking for something cool to make sort of a cool voice for like a drop or a fill or something. And I'm actually super happy with where I landed. Rock solid. So that is how we go from rock solid to rock solid. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. If you make a cool voice thing using a similar setup, I would be very interested. If you don't have these plugins, there are other options. Um, you, If you've got RX-7, I think they have a denoiser in the Elements Suite, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but that could be an option. You could use Edison. Uh, I'm assuming you've got the parametric EQ2 or an EQ that's satisfactory. Distortion's up in the air. You could use any kind of distortion for that. Trash 2. You could use wave, uh, the Wave Shaper, all kinds of stuff. And you've got an OTT. You can set this up with a variety of different compressors. Uh, OTT is free, though, so there's no reason to not have it. And then finally, you could use any reverb. The Pro R just has some really awesome convenient features. So if you're looking at this going, I don't have some of these plugins, don't, don't even worry about it. Totally achievable with other stuff. And the most important moves in here were done using either stock or free plugins. Like this step's optional and this step's optional. This is this comes with FL, comes with FL free. So you can still get that sound without having like the fancier stuff in there. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.